Yo, what's up? It's Yeah Rumi. So this is part five of the video tutorial series where I walk you through step by step the guide to no code marketplaces that I recently launched. So um, I'm screen sharing it with you right here. Uh, you can check it out guides.everythingmarketplaces.com. But basically these are uh, kind of screen share tutorial videos where I walk you through each, sec each section of the guide to no code marketplaces. So this is assuming that you've downloaded it and uh, checked it out. And this is just like a video kind of a uh, complement to it. So uh, once again, this is part five and um, previously we covered quite a bit, uh, but this video is going to specifically be on Webflow and how you can leverage it uh, when building your marketplace uh, using Webflow's platform. So uh, uh, one thing I do wanna mention is that Webflow is going to be ideal for B2B marketplaces or more lightweight marketplaces. And by that, I just explain a little bit more. Um, so Webflow has a lot of, uh, of capabilities. Um, it is, you, you can build quite a, quite a bit of um, functionality with it. Uh, but it doesn't have a lot of the kind of like uh, existing backend functionality or backend kind of um, capabilities that like a share tribe would have in like for peer to peer marketplaces or that even bubble would have with extensive customizations. Now, it's primarily because uh, Webflow utilizes like a CMS. Um, so you can definitely leverage that in different tool integrations, uh, but it does it could potentially require some kind of custom development. Now we're going to jump into some examples so I can show you some pretty uh, some pretty good examples of operational at some sense of scale Webflow based marketplaces. Um, but really quickly, I do want to also mention that uh, they do use some tool integrations. So for instance, they use other kind of no code tool or platforms um, like Airtable. So when you're building a, a online marketplace, typically using Webflow, a lot of the uh, like user database and management is actually um, kind of that uh, lives within an Airtable. And they use some kind of integration to populate that via the CMS uh, on the front end and user interface uh, via Webflow. Now, of course, that has uh, at some sense of scale and some sense of like functionality requirements that has some constraints. So that's why I typically um, suggest that uh, Webflow is I ideal for more uh, heavily managed on the operator side uh, or B2B marketplaces that don't require a lot of direct user to user interaction um, and functionality. Uh, some other kind of, um, I, I would say, like tool integrations that are quite common are JetBoost for search, uh, member stack for user accounts, um, subscription management, and so forth. Uh, so um, also, too, something else to mention is that not only are those tool integrations, but one of the uh, big benefits of Webflow is that they actually have um, existing templates um, that you can uh, simply uh, download. Um, and a lot of people actually post, uh, their, uh, basically showcase their kind of Webflow builds. And so you, you can actually, in some cases, duplicate that uh, directly to your account and use that as a good starting point um, when initially building out your online marketplace. So I just kind of mentioned uh, briefly um, the marketplaces that Webflow is suitable for building, some of the tool integrations, and then kind of below that, I actually uh, identify some different marketplace examples. So one is Dualito and the other is Unicorn Factory. So I'm gonna show you uh, Dualito right now, which is a very slick marketplace. Um, I do mention that it's built using Webflow primarily as a no-code platform. It uses uh, Zapier or Zapier as some people like to pronounce, I get, I'm not sure which is correct, um, for some kind of automation uh, integrations and communicating those tools uh, with the platforms. Uh, and then also uh, Parabola, JetBoost, and Airtable. So let's check it out really quickly. So you can see Dualito right here. Um, it's a very well-designed marketplace. Uh, basically for discovering and connecting, um, you can see with like prefab uh, companies right here. So this is gonna be um, either if, you know, a, a business to consumer marketplace or even potentially B2B. So uh, a lot of these are records, uh, a lot of these listings are kind of like records that are stored uh, via um, Airtable and populated, uh, you know, directly on the front end to kind of Webflow. So it looks great. Um, you can see all the different kind of pages down here, SEO friendly and whatnot. Um, and this is a really great example of a Webflow marketplace. Uh, and it has search right here. So you can see, let's just click on offices. You can see right here. So here's all the different kind of like listings uh, right here. So this is a really good example of a um, little bit more managed marketplace that's built using Webflow. Now, another example, um, which is going to be a little bit more on the actual kind of like uh, potentially, um, you know, you, uh, I would say like uh, consumer to, or peer to peer marketplace, maybe or um, 
even like a B2C marketplace is going to be unicorn factory. So this is a really great example. I mean, this looks great. Um, this is a Webflow based marketplace. So you can see right here for hiring freelancers. Um, so this is Connor's marketplace, um, which I'm sure uh, some of you might know Connor. I um, mean, shared quite a bit uh, about building how he built and launched this. So you can see right here some of the popular freelancers. So this is a really great um, aesthetically and, you know, this is very well designed. Um, here's like the kind of profiles for those uh, different freelancers and all the different fields right here. Um, you can see some of these kind of like records right here that are displayed uh, via, you know, Webflow. And then this has a contact. So, um, you know, this contact kind of being passed through. This isn't a lot of like user to user account functionality. This is a little bit more managed still. Uh, so this is going to be another example of kind of like a more uh, heavily managed marketplace versus like a direct peer to peer without the marketplace operator kind of being the intermediary there. So, uh, so that's just another example. Those are just two primary examples. Uh, I think really good examples of Webflow based marketplaces. You can see right here, I just mentioned that uh, Unicorn Factory is built primarily using Webflow. Um, kind of the same like tool stack, uh, Zapier, Zapier, uh, Parabola, Jetboost and Airtable. Um, I also interviewed both founders uh, kind of towards the end of this guide. So I'll cover that in another part of this video. Um, and then also uh, you can click on this right here. This uh, more examples for once again, for that no code kind of marketplace directory where I list out a lot more uh, marketplaces, uh, show some kind of like product shots uh, on there and some of the other tool integrations. Uh, but this is going to be a short part of this kind of video tutorial series. Um, but basically a little deep dive into Webflow. Um, so that way you could yeah, easily see, you know, uh, what type of marketplaces are, is Webflow suitable for building? Um, some examples and then some kind of, um, you know, quick kind of like walk through of each of those marketplaces and then um, some of the common tool integrations uh, that Webflow marketplaces use. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, I'll continue this tutorial series in the next part. See ya.